and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel of Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. Hope you're doing well. I really do hope that. And we have some good news. Some feel-good news that can hopefully make me and you think about just generally the long term. And look past the, again, turgid sewage that we've been sitting in throughout this season. It's been nothing short of turgid, turgid sewage. So if we can have positive things to look forward to... Then we've got to grab it with both hands, ladies and gentlemen. But positive things also pose new questions. So welcome back to Chelsea News and Football Therapy. And let's talk about David Ornstein's column, where he speaks about the contract extension of Chili B, Ben Chilwell. But what is the ramifications of this extension for a guy of his age? Does that mean Mason Mount should be able to extend as well? I mean, how even old is Ben Chilwell? He's mid-20s, surely? But... Mason Mount's kind of, he's a couple years older than Mason Mount, but it's rough, it's tricky. There's a lot to be, um, there's a lot to be spoken about in today's video, so thank you for joining me. If you do want to support the content, I would urge you to, to subscribe should you want to, and you know, drop a like. It just helps me out, dropping a like, you know. But, um, just get the microphones up for one moment here, because I want to speak to the press. Here's your headline. This season, not good, but the future... Good. And we have reasons to believe that. So hold on, baby! Alright. So yes, David Ornstein writing on his column today about Chelsea Football Club. It was another weekend for Chelsea to forget after they lost to Wolverhampton Wanderers to stay 11th in the table with Frank Lampard's tenure as interim manager getting off to a disappointing start. Uh, by the way, like... I kind of like how Lampard responded to that. He was like, in a way, Lampard can't screw up a long-term tenure here. Um, he is just going to be here for like a little bit. And he's basically said like, you got to have the gonads. The cat is Mia Bingo coming in. So here she is. We're going to Mia Bingo coming out. Um, anyway, uh, yes. I kind of like how Lampard was a little bit like, you know, just grow up you know, a, a pair of gonads, and, um, ah, and, um, and that's where we're going to go from here, because Potter certainly wouldn't have done that, and I liked how Potter didn't do that, I always maintained how Potter not doing that is good for a long-term dynasty, now Lampard's clearly not here for a long-term dynasty, not unless he comes back in another few years after he wins a trophy managing Leon. Or something, you know, I'm trying to think of like a scenario where he goes away, does well and comes back. But for the moment, he's just here to stick it up the players and be like, look, you got Real Madrid, you got a few games left, show some freaking gonads and remember you're Chelsea. You know? Where's the cat? Yeah, she's back there. You know, and I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. So, yeah, it's, you know. The West London side are without a victory in four Premier League games, and now focus turns on, of course, the Real Madrid game away at the Bernabeu on Wednesday. That competition presents Chelsea's last shot at silverware in an otherwise dismal campaign. And dismal is the word, Orny. And whatever happens in Europe, it is guaranteed to be a summer of further change at Stamford Bridge. Well, new gaffers, an exodus of players. Remember, we got loads of um, players going out. Hey, Mia, what do you reckon? Are we going to beat Real Madrid in the Bernabeu? Because I don't think so. <laughs> a draw would be great, though, right? Uh, it's guaranteed, yeah, so Lampard is expected to be replaced in the dugout by a permanent head coach. More signings will arrive, players are sure to go out the other way, and a number of contract situations must be resolved. Uh, yeah, loads of players need to come out. Not just the bloated squad um, that we've got currently, but, like, all the loanees coming back as well. Like, it's going to be profound, profound, the amount of players. I think maybe... I think Mia Bingo is over, ladies and gentlemen. How you go, darling? Off you go. Sorry, but you know. So let's read on. Um, yes, lots needs to be resolved. One such situation was set to involve Ben Chilwell, who is approaching the final 24 months of his terms, which isn't that long, considering... So Mount will be on a year left or whatever. Uh, not only does the new Chelsea hierarchy want to avoid any squad member entering that territory, but reports have suggested Manchester City are keen to recruit the England international. And by the way, of course, like... Ben Chilwell is excellent. 
He's 26. He's 26 years old. He's right in the sweet spot. He doesn't turn 27 till late December. Back in 63. So, like, he's got plenty of time. He will be good and dynamic for a long, long time. He can score a goal. He can invert. He can run in behind. He can tackle. He can defend. He's wicked, mate. And he's a top boy. So, of course, Man City won him. They've needed a left-back for a long, long time. They couldn't really be asked with Zinchenko for some reason. Although, like, he's kind of different. Chilwell will be very much more, a bit more full-backy. And yeah, yeah, of course they want Ben Chilwell. Like, he's awesome. So, yes, this is, imp- this is really positive news because, you know, Chilwell could have easily been like, Man City want me. What, the same Man City that are in every final every year and win the Premier League all the time? When, like... You know, yes, I won the Champions League with Chelsea. Yes, I was an integral player to that. But this is a crap show, brother. Look around me. What? They don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. We're 11th, dog. We're in the bottom half of the Premier League. He could be like, come get me, Pep. But no. Ben Chilwell is proper Chelsea. And you remember that. And that's it. And this is just good, good news. Chilwell established himself among Chelsea's most important players, arguably their leading performer this season, which is big statement, but it could be true. And the possibility of his departure would be unpalatable for many fans. Unfathomable. Unfathomable. Fathomable. Fathomable. You know, for me, those supporters will be delighted to learn, therefore, that Chilwell is set to commit his future to the club by signing a new four year deal. It will prolong the wingback stay. So it would end in 2025 to 2027. So it's an extra two years, but it's, I guess, a fresh four year deal. Yes, Port, we'll get back to the length of deal. Uh, So a four year deal will take him to 30 years old I believe amid a turbulent period at Chelsea the extension of Chilwell's deal at least offers some positive news while also confront confirming the 26 year old standing in the eyes of the American led ownership Chilwell arrived from Leicester City for 50 million I believe it was just under 50 million in 2020 brought by Super Frankie Lampard who was adamant he wanted him over Tagliafico and Tellez I'm gonna stop saying it I know it's boring you but the talent idea of Lampard is good. And he was adamant he wanted Thiago Silva as well when PSG cast him out. He was like, yes, Chelsea need Thiago Silva. I said no, Lewis Dunk. Guilty or honor. But Frank Lampard, Monsieur Talent ID, knew Wagwan. Uh, so he lifted the Champions League a year later. His form continued to improve until a serious knee injury, of course, yeah. A hamstring problem kept him out of uh, the World Cup. And uh, the left foot returned in early February and has featured in each subsequent Chelsea match. He won his first country, uh, cap for his country in 2021. Um, and yeah, he's basically really important for England and he's a super wicked, intelligent player. Everyone can admit this is excellent news. He has been our starting left back, left wing back for a long time and will remain so for the rest of his prime career. He's nailing his colours to the mast, and this is really, really important, I think. Now, although this is really great news and positive news, it does pose a question. Why does Ben Chilwell get to sign a deal that takes him... A short-term deal, excuse me, and Mason Mount doesn't? Now, I think Mason Mount's two years um, younger, but they want him to sign an eight-year deal or a seven-year deal that'll take him to 31-30. I get it with with Chile already being a little bit older, but like, why can't they just say, "Look, Mason, you've been in the first team um, for as long as Ben Chilwell," or like, "Wait, hold on, he's been there longer because we had a transfer ban before Lampard bought him, so he's been there longer in the first team. He's done more important, well, as important work. He was really, really good in the Champions League. You won back to back Player of the Season." Why can't he just be afforded the opportunity to also sign a four-year extension? He may sign again after that. If we've won a couple of Premier Leagues and whatever uh, by, by that point and we've got this new manager in him, you know, the Todd Bowley clear like vision is realised and we win trophies and he his contract expires when he's 29, he can sign another one for Chelsea. Like a three or four, you know, just do it. He deserves that. 
Like, I get it, Mudrick, Enzo, these players coming in signing long-term deals, they still won't be 30 by the time they, they you know, get towards the end. Do you know what I mean? So it just really raises an eyebrow. How come he can do it? And I know, like, Mason Mount's a divisive character, but so is Chilwell. I think both of them are excellent, by the way. To, to comp... To, to rate people play, these players on where Chelsea have been of late is just wrong. Because we're a mismatch, we're just a shoddy mismatch of n- not workingness. There you go, there's some English for you there. It's not a reflection on these players' ability. And I put all love, like, you know, a bar a few. You know, I put your Kai Havertz's, your Mason Mounts. All these players are good. They're good players. They're just, like, been suffering with the Chelsea-itis. Does that mean you need to clean the slate with a lot of them? Maybe, yeah. Like maybe like certain wingers, fine. But I don't know, man. Like, I feel like Mason Mount, sign him up, get him down like for a contract, get his head down, let him just train and do what the new coach wants. You know, I guarantee like a Lewis Enrique or a Nagels man or someone will just put him in midfield and be like, right, this guy can do high turnovers, which is what they want. He can work hard, he can get an assist, he's got a goal in him, uh, he's a professional. Yes, please. I want that. Even if I don't always start him, he'll be an important integral player in what is a massive club, in a massive team in Chelsea Football Club. So it's just silly sausages all around, really. We do need a mass exodus. Um, And a a lot of players probably need loans as well. You know? Like, uh, it's going to be so tough, man. Because like when players like Andre Santos get their visa to, to play in England... Um, you know, Potter and Chelsea were looking to play him in the first team as an 18-year-old. Um, but does he come back and go on a championship loan, a lower Premier League loan? Does he get put in the squad? Does he go to Chelsea's development squad? Um, or is he this kid that's going to be a superstar that just has to play in the midfield next to Enzo Fernandez, Or, you know, and or Kante, you know, maybe does, does Kante's last, like, couple of years in the first team before he gets rotated, or, there's so many frig- friggin' players, and I do not envy that task of, and this is, this is what's, like, kind of, like, a paradox about it, you know, because I don't envy the task of being the person who has to get rid of these players, or choose who stays and who goes, and who actually gonna properly train hard in the small core players, because there's so much talent, but at the same time, we're so shit. So it should be easy. And there lie for the paradox, ladies and gentlemen. But one uh, you know, area on the pitch that we're not flash for uh, in terms of amazing quality off the bat is left back. No disrespect to Kukurea. Um, there's a player in there that needs to somehow find his way back to earth. But Ben Chilwell is the undeniable left back in the same way. Reese James and maybe Malo Gusto are the undeniable right backs in this squad. Malo Gusto seems very, very big talent. You, on the left, we're, we're, we don't have two talents really, that, you know, in terms of conventional proper left back. So Ben Chilwell signing is absolutely massive. And you have to grab good news with both hands because it means the project's there. The superstars are there playing forwards. Uh, and they you know, and like I said, he could have easily jumped ship to Man City who want him. And, you know, he could have, but he, you know, he wanted to stay at Chelsea. He is Chelsea. And he, I think, I can't, you know what? I think he gets it. The way he's spoken ever since the Champions League, much like Mason Mount, I kind of think he gets it. Let me know what you think, though. Thank you for joining me. Comment down below. Um, please do drop a like. And, you know, subscribe if you want more of me sweating under the studio lights in a vest with my hairy chest out. I mean, who wouldn't want that? You know, usually got to pay silly money on OnlyFans for that. So you're getting a wicked deal because subscribing is free. Sorry for that. See you in a bit. Bye.